Hey, it's Mike here from Health News Wires, taking a look at red wine and tea and looking at their ingredients. Um, new research shows that they may reduce blood sugar levels. Stay tuned at the end of my report. I'm going to show you uh, a free downloadable resource that will further help you lower your blood sugar and put you on the path to great health. So red wine and tea, um, we know they have demonstrated health benefits for uh, the heart and providing large amounts of antioxidants. But new research uh, is showing that red wine and tea, and specifically the components in red wine and tea, uh, may regulate blood glucose levels in people with type 2 diabetes. So blood sugar levels of people with diabetes tend to increase dramatically um, immediately following a meal and that causes difficulty in regulating blood sugar levels, which increases the risk of long-term damage to the body, including heart disease, kidney damage, and even problems with the nervous system. Uh, the natural ingredients and antioxidants in red wine and tea seem to slow down the absorption of sugar into the intestines and bloodstream uh, after a meal. And this slowed absor absorption rate decreased dangerous and unwanted blood sugar spikes, which, as you know, is the ultimate goal of managing diabetes. So looking at exactly how efficient these beverages were in preventing absorption, uh, researchers found that red wine actually blocked the function of the key enzyme that's responsible for absorption of sugar in the intestines by 100% total blockage of it. So um, pretty impressive there. As a comparison, they researched the same um, process with white wine and found that the components of white wine blocked the same enzyme function by only 20%. In addition, uh, various teas, including black tea, white tea, green teas, uh, also showed encouraging results in this area, black tea being the most effective among the teas studied. And in addition, um, they found that unlike current drugs and medication used to treat diabetes, the components found in red wine and tea uh, demonstrated no effect on the important pancreatic enzymes that break down the important starches. Uh, currently, many of the prescribed diabetes drugs do interfere with this enzyme, which causes fermentation of bacteria, leading to a number of digestive issues, uh, which is a, also a good indication for anyone to supplement with a high-quality probiotic. Um, what they're really taking a look at, uh, or concluding from these findings, is that it's not just drinking red wine and tea that improves uh, or slows blood sugar absorption, but it's actually um, the polyphenols in red wine and uh, tea. And those polyphenols are also available in, in many plant-based sources. So it doesn't have to be just red wine and tea. Uh, and this shouldn't be an indication or a promotion to start drinking red wine or any alcohol if you're not already. Um, the findings of this research uh, demonstrated the ability to lower the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, lowers insulin resistance, and um, avoid blood sugar spikes. And the, the findings were more effective when they were combined with a healthy diet and sensible eating routine. Uh, I told you earlier about a free downloadable resource. You're looking at it at your, on your screen now. You can click on it. It's called The Four Sneaky Tricks to Lower Your Blood Sugar. So a downloadable resource that you can um, take advantage of immediately. Gives you a number of tips and techniques, including how to avoid the worst carbohydrates that affect blood sugar, a uh, number of high-intensity training exercises that lower insulin resistance immediately, uh, household or local ingredients that you can include in your diet right away, lowering blood sugar. And it's all free. Take a look at it. It's it's some uh, really important information for you. 
Thanks for listening. This is Mike from Health News Wires.